Hello and welcome back to the QT Office video tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to be extremely quick and we're going to cover the customer delivery system that Mary Kay provides and how to handle those invoices using QT Office. So like any other invoice, we're going to go to the invoice tab located in the gray bar. And this is going to be treated just like a regular invoice with the exception of one difference. And if you have not watched the how to create an invoice tutorial video yet, you will probably want to start there. So as you know, during the invoice creation, you will select a customer, and for the normal sale type, you will keep the normal sale, and you'll keep the date. Now the only adjustment you have to make for the delivery system is uncheck this box located right here that says Adjust Inventory. Unchecking this box will not remove this product for your shelf. You'll still want to enter the invoice into QT so you can track your profit at the end of the year. All this information will show up on your tax sheet is located under your expenses. This tax sheet is very handy. You can just print it out and bring it to your accountant or if you do your own taxes, it's an extremely useful guide that will make your taxes a snap. So when you're creating a customer delivery invoice or a CDS, make sure you uncheck the adjust inventory box so your inventory items do not go into the negatives. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and have a great day.